It's December, it's the end of the year and while the rest of us are looking forward to the festivities and the holidays that are just upon us, the Sri Lankan cricket team has just embarked on a daunting tour to New Zealand and one man who's been on such tours is sitting next to me, Faris Maruf, an all-rounder, former all-rounder for Sri Lanka cricket. Faris, tours to New Zealand followed by Australia and then to South Africa can be very challenging. Uh, what is your experience in playing those kind of countries? Very difficult opponents yeah. in their own backyard. How does it feel? Definitely, I mean, three different challenges. Yes. I've got to say that. I mean, New Zealand is a different challenge than Australia and Australia is a different challenge, challenge to South Africa. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it'll, it'll test us. It'll test our bench strength. It'll test our mentality. It'll, it'll, it'll test most of uh, Sri Lanka cricket what they have mm -hmm. in their disposal. So, this is where the uh, real uh, Sri Lankan mentality should come in. I mean, I always keep saying that, you know, we, sh we should always play our own brand. Mm -hmm. we, we are known for our own brand. Mm -hmm. So, we should go out there and, you know, express ourselves. Mm -hmm. But saying that, it will be tough, but I'm really looking forward for the test series with, uh, you know, th th with, the, uh, with the conditions coming up, mm -hmm. especially in Wellington and Christchurch. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a good game to watch. In fact, yes, lots of cricket coming up in this season. And speaking of tough cricket, I mean, conditions are going to be very different. Cold weather, bouncy pitchers, green turfs, bounce is going to be bouncing and swinging around. Uh, there's been a few changes in the squad. I mean, uh, Chandika Hathrusinga did say at the end of the England tour that there will be changes made. Yeah. But he also said that these crop of batsmen are the best ones we have. Uh, we spoke, in fact, you said in the last show that, you know, some hard calls need to be taken. And a couple of those changes that I'm looking at is uh, batsmen have changed. The Lahiri Thuriman has been drafted into the squad. And, uh, uh, you know, even the bowlers, much more strength in the, in the pace department, obviously, because the pitchers there. Uh, I want to start off by asking with the bowlers, because that's something that's going to matter. Do you think these set of fast bowlers are the best that we have and that this pace battery is able to do something over there? I think I believe uh, these five, which we are, you know, which we have, which we are, which we are have in this squad, mm -hmm. I think are the best. I mean, you could take Dushman Chamir. I haven't played Test for a while. Mm -hmm. Nuan Pradeep. Those are the two guys. I'm a little bit concerned because right. lack of bowling. Mm -hmm. But Lahiri Kumar, Kasun Rajita, and Surang Lakman has mm -hmm. been playing Test cricket for a while now. Mm -hmm. And Dushman Chamir have done well. Mm -hmm. In New Zealand, uh, in New Zealand, in the previous tours, he has mm -hmm. taken a fifer yes. in Hamilton. So That's why he impressed the first time. I remember he did. He did definitely did. Yeah. And you know, I, I mean, for asking, answering your question, are these the five fast bowlers uh, the best, best we have? I think yeah. definitely we do when right. it comes to test level. Okay. And uh, you know, challenges are different. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't think New Zealand tracks will be quick than yes. like Australia or South Africa. Mm -hmm. It will be more seamer friendly. Mm -hmm. So that's where Surang Lakmal and Kasun Raj, the for me, mm -hmm. is going to be very handy. Right, fantastic. So that's uh, Faris Marf takes on take on what these pace bowlers will be able to do. And we spoke about uh, uh, the batting changes. Uh, Lahiru Tiriman has been brought in in place of Kaushal Silva, and there's Danushka Gunatilaka, and as well as Sadira Samarikar has also been part of this card. Who do you think is going to open alongside Dimut? And that's going to be a tough question to answer there. Uh, sorry, I couldn't mention about the batsman. I think very, uh, very happy with the squad. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I heard, I heard what uh, Asant Dimit said about right. the two inclusion. And normally, it's a 15-man squad. Mm. So this is 17-man squad. What he said was to give confidence to batsmen like Sadira and mm. Lairuthiri Man because mm -hmm. they should feel good because they are in the system, you know. Mm -hmm waiting for a chance. So, I think uh, it's a good call to mm. get uh, Sadira and Lairu in because mm. Sadira is the future. Right. Lairu has proven, but taking his test record, he doesn't uh, show the best. But lately, he's been scoring a lot of runs right. in the A-team levels and uh, domestic levels. So, he deserves to get his chance. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to Sadira, this is his best chance. Right. So, he's playing as a wicket-keeping batsman and, you know, there is wicket-keeping Dinesh Chandikar in the squad already. Mm -hmm. So, that's there's going to be a competition there. Right. And also, Dinesh Chandimal, uh, you know, last game before he left to New Zealand, he kept wickets at NCC. Right. That's so could be an indication that he could Indication, yes. maybe yes. he may take up the gloves and mm -hmm. have bat at six, bat mm -hmm. at NG at five and Roshan at seven. So, right. lots of options are there. It depends right. all on the first practice game when we are going to play in yes. Napier. Yes. From that, I think, uh, I mean, we got uh, a really good crop of players to choose from. Right. And our ever-reliable opener, Dimut Karnaratna, he's been made vice-captain, taking it off from Suranga Lakmal. Your thoughts on that? Would it, would it negatively impact Lakmal in his performances? you think so? I think, uh, to be honest, Surang Lakmal is a bit unlucky. Right. But I understand how uh, and why mm -hmm. the thought process has gone to uh, appoint Dimut Karnaratna. Because right. he's a captain symmetrical and he has captain from you know, younger days to the SSC yes. first team. And he has yes. done it in the A team. So, uh -huh. you know, he has done, he has proven. And he's, for me, he's the best test batsman we have in the uh -huh. squad. Uh -huh. I mean, he's a... If, I mean, top two, top seven. I yes. think he's a main uh, main batsman. So yeah. rightly so, he got this opportunity right. and the responsibility. So Rang Lakmal, for me, is a bit unlucky mm -hmm. if, uh, from my side. But you know, I think I thought he lacked ideas in the right. uh, last two Test matches right. when he captain against England. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that actually prompted the selectors to mm -hmm. 
make this change but you know still new selectors came in with new thought process mm -hmm. so you know they are they are they are thinking is going forward right. they having dimuth uh, as the vice captain which, which i agree i right. mean he deserves right. he gets it and i'm looking forward to seeing how them is going to go about i mean last time he played a test match in England, uh, new zealand i thought we scored a 160 or something like that yes yes so all these good memories are coming back but all depends on how we're going to start right we got to start positive we have to play our own brand mm -hmm. if we do that Mm -hmm. We might, uh, you know, surprise a few people. Wonderful. So there you go. The selectors, I guess, are selecting leadership abilities over seniority, and that's probably one reason that could explain uh, Dimuth Karnara becoming vice captain. One last thing on this card before I go on to talk about the fixtures. I have been seeing a trend on Twitter and a couple of videos of Matthews bowling in the nets. Yeah. Do you think that could we could see Matthews coming back as a bowler in an in test career? I mean, it'll be a definite advantage to have that extra bowler who will seam the ball around. You think that's going to happen, or I mean, you know, Matthews. Yeah, I mean, I mean, to be honest, I don't want to risk him bowling in test matches. Right. I mean, he's a player for me, has to be fit enough to blow in the one days. So mm -hmm. I think he's even even start process. I mean, if he's given a chance, he'd like to bowl. Knowing him, he likes to bowl. But I think it'll be too much of a gamble and too much of a risk getting him to bowl in the test matches. But he might come in once, might bowl a spell or two, right? Maximum. But I don't think uh, they'll push him that much. Mm -hmm. To play, uh, to bowl in the Test squad, but definitely going forward to the one days, mm -hmm. I think his his plan should be to uh, build up his uh, workload right. of bowling. Because when it comes to the World Cup, mm -hmm. we have we can have a lot of options. If Matthew bowls his five overs for us, mm -hmm. I think we could we could f uh, step in another uh, extra batsman or extra bowler because yes. he keeps bowling. So yes. lots of ifs and buts. Mm -hmm. But for me, Angelo bowling in a Test is a big risk. Mm -hmm. But if the f the wickets is seeming and seem a friendly, mm -hmm. bowling a spell or two, you know. You know that that really should be the idea of the uh, think tank. Right there you go. So the infrequent spells for bowling for Angelo Matthews. If that's what, if they, if I could summarize what Farvi said for you, there there's a lot of cricket like, like I said coming up. These are the fixtures of the tour of New Zealand. We'll be playing a warm-up match from the eighth of eight to the tenth of December, which is going to be a Napier, and then we'll be followed by two tests, three ODIs, and one T20. So exciting times ahead for Sri Lanka cricket, and really this might just be a stepping stone for preparations of the World Cup and hopefully we finally might have our combinations right going to that World Cup in England in 2019. Leaving that aside, speaking of preparations for the Sri Lankan national team, there is an Asian Cricket Council Emerging Teams Asia Cup 2018 coming up. Sri Lanka and Pakistan will be co-hosting it. It's the third ACC Emerging Teams Asia Cup from the 6th to 15th of December 2018. Sri Lanka are the defending champions. In fact, we beat Pakistan in 2017 final, which was held in Bangladesh. And in our group, Sri Lanka has India, Afghanistan and Oman. And in the other group B, which will be Pakistan, Bangladesh, UAE and Hong Kong. The squad is out for Sri Lanka emerging. Chari Tasalanka is the captain. Samu Ashan has been the vice captain. I mean, they've been among the runs in all the domestic cricket that we played. Uh, this squad looks good, Farwiz, to me. There's a lot of uh, good names in there. There's a mixture of seniority and youth. And there are a lot of guys who are out there who want to make an impression yeah. and make some noise and knock the selectors door. I mean, straight away, my eyes pops into Chari Tasalanka and Samu Ashan. Right. They were the vice captain, cap captain vice captain in the under-19 uh, World Cup right. happened in Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, uh, good to see Lase uh, Asay Lagunda at the back. Yes. He's yeah. given a chance. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that selectors want him in the system. Yes. I mean, he's a player, even I believe, in the one-day squad especially. Should be around because, right. you know, he, he gives you different dimensions. Mm -hmm. So, happy to see him back. There's a hashtag on Twitter saying, bring back Asaila. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, he's a good player. Yes. I mean, he's lately, won as matches, hasn't he? Lately, he's been injured. I mean, mm -hmm. once, as a cricketer, we know that, you know, once you're injured, it takes a, takes some time to get yes. to the same yes. same groove. Yes. So, you know, let's see how he goes. And Hasid the got up. happy for him. I mean, he's a young player. Mm -hmm. Up and coming, lots of promise. Mm -hmm. Sandhu Nirakkodi rewarded for his uh, runs in the yeah. Imagine Trophy, uh, sorry, the uh, Imagine, concluded yes. uh, major, major Imagine Trophy, yes. as well as the first game he played uh, for SSC. Mm -hmm. And good to see Jeffrey Van Der Sey is given a break yes. again. Yeah. I mean, test discard, one day discard, you know, putting back to the mm -hmm. uh, Imagine squad. Yes. This is his chance. I mean, if he, if he fails, I think going forward, we should have a wrist spinner Absolutely. apart from uh, Sandakan. Sandakan yeah. So I think uh, Jeffrey Van Der Sey is going to be very key for us. I mean, going forward mm -hmm. till, the, till the World Cup, especially mm -hmm. the white ball. Mm -hmm. And a good, good set of fast bowlers as well. I see the Fernando, mm -hmm. a quick uh, stocky, yeah, quick bowler. Mm -hmm. As good uh, Jehan Daniel, mm -hmm. good uh, all rounder, young up, up and coming, still only 19 plus. Wow, okay. But this is his chance to you know show show the selectors what he Absolutely. got. Chami Karanatha has been in the domestic system for a while, so mm -hmm. you know, it's his chance to uh, mm -hmm. you know showcase his chance. So overall, I thought it's been a good squad. Mm -hmm with youth and experience. I mean, it all depends how they will get along and gel in because right. they only had one week of training. Right. So that's where sometimes we teams go wrong, right. where they don't have enough time to gel in together, mm -hmm. know each other's strength and weakness. I mean, playing against each other, we know the 
we know the uh, strength and weaknesses, but process, when it comes to yes. playing together, right. you should uh, com com the combination speaking up. So right. Right. as soon as we do it, it's better for us because it's not going to be easy for us. I mean, Sri Lanka, We're playing, playing India, India Afghanistan, strong, Oman. Yes. Even Oman, they is a national team. I mean, right. They've done well right. in the Division 2s and 3s. Yes. Afghanistan so, isn't a bad team. We lost to them in the Asian Exactly. I mean, yes. India has always yeah. have a good, yes. good squad. So, yeah. you know, we are in a good Tricky, tricky group for me, mm -hmm. but it all depends on how we're going to start uh, the mm -hmm. first game against Oman. Well, there you go. So the selectors, uh, the new selection panel headed by Ashanti Dimeir has obviously made a few bold calls and hopefully this brings in the much needed change, a new tidal wave for Sri Lanka that brings in good times for all of us fans that are eagerly waiting for the team to do good, really. Okay, so that's as far as the emerging Asia Cup was concerned. Uh, some very good news. If you haven't still heard, then you deserve to hear this if you are a true Sri Lankan cricket fan. We have won a third World Cup. If you don't believe me, go look it up. The Sri Lanka Deaf Cricket Team. Listen to that again. So Sri Lanka Deaf Cricket Team has won the inaugural Deaf ICC T20 World Cup, beating India in the final by 36 runs. They beat India thrice in the tournament and in the end, they also beat them in the final to win the World Cup, which is amazing news. I mean, for a Deaf Cricket team to go out there and prove in the first ever World Cup is amazing. Uh, the Sri Lanka Deaf Cricket Association, which is currently an affiliated body with the National Paralympic Committee, is said to be given affiliate membership of Sri Lanka cricket. I mean, that's fantastic. If you are a true cricket fan, that is something that really needs to be appreciated. For is your thoughts on that? I mean, fantastic achievement. I mean, fantastic achievement. I mean, winning a World Cup and beating in India and mm. thrice. Yes. So I think it's fantastic. I mean, it's only uh, it'll uh, the deaf cricket will only get better after yes. this. I mean, they be, they were recognised at SLC right. after the after they came back to uh, to the island. Mm. So this is a stepping stone going forward. I mean, win is a win in any cricket. Absolutely. I mean, especially winning a World Cup. Absolutely. It's fantastic. Absolutely. There you go. Wonderful. So that's the deaf cricket team. Uh, this week's question on trivia is who is the captain of the Sri Lanka deaf cricket team? Now you've been following the news, so you better know the answer to that question. Who is the captain of the deaf cricket team of Sri Lanka? Last week we asked you how many test wickets has Dilruan Perera taken so far? The answer is 147. And the winner for last week is Prasad Vijay Surya from Kurunagala. Congratulations, Prasad, on getting that right. We want to thank you, Farwiz, once again. We've been Thanks talking so a lot over the past few weeks and it's been fantastic. It's thank been you. a pleasure. We will see you again next week on another episode of Around the Wickets. Until then, all of us say bye bye from the papara.com.